pizza on the peel. I have definitely struggled getting this off and it's because I've done it wrong. I still think I did it halfway wrong, but I'm gonna try to put it on my stone. But let's see, I'm gonna pause this and once I get it on there, I'll show you. So I have my stone heated in the oven and on to the next step. I don't think I can slide it. Oh, it's almost coming off. See, I'm gonna need to use my other hand because it's actually sliding around this time, so. It's not perfect, but I did it. I got it on there. You guys have no idea how much I've struggled with that. And again, it's because I'm doing it wrong. You're supposed to make the dough and have it all stretched out before you even try to put it on there. So I have it on my stone. Look, I did it on this one because I want the preheated stone and it's if you do the preheating you how are you going to get the pizza on there so you have to have the pizza peel and you have to know how to do that that's what i wanted to do and i finally did it this pizza though i use this um metal pan um and i wanted to make one first to get the good one out of the way to make sure that if i messed up the second one i wouldn't be upset anyways i'm excited because i got it off the peel i can't wait to um see it when it comes out it starts cooking immediately like look at that the dough is already puffing up like, it's it's beautiful like I can't Ugh, I just couldn't wait to use this the right way and if like I said if you follow the instructions or like there's a little video too for the pampered chef pizza peel if you watch the video and follow the way that they do it it works I just am stubborn and do things my way that's the problem <laughs> Follow the instructions. Those are always the most important things that come with any Pampered Chef item. All right, thanks for watching, guys.